in fourth grade. So in today's lesson, we did the um, outline for our research report on the country of your choice. If you look at page 225 and 226, it kind of walks you through going from the cards to the outline. On your outline, at the top, you're going to start with the um, title, the name of your country. Then, let me move this way. Then you're going to put a room, Roman numeral one right over here on the edge. After that Roman numeral one, that is where you put the name of your country, apostrophe S, and its geography. And then you're gonna get your geography cards and you're going to write down the th each item about the geography of that country. Then, even with that number one, you're going to write a number two, and that will be the name of your country, apostrophe S, and climate. And you're gonna write down the things about the climate underneath the, ca the capital letter of your country. See, all of this, all your Roman numerals are lined up right out here, and then all your capital letters are lined up right here. So this is where the one, two, and three on your card are going to turn into A, B, and C on your outline. After you have done those four items, your um, holidays and cultural um, events and your religions or whatever else you choose to talk about with that country, after you have done your number one, your number two, your number three, and your number four, then on your draft, you're going to use this outline to guide your draft. This number one is going to be your first paragraph. After you have written these things down in complete sentences, interesting sentences, then you are going to go to your number two and write your paragraph about the climate. And then after that, you're gonna to go to number three and write the paragraph about the customs and holidays. And then you're going to end with your last paragraph. So your whole report about the country of your choice is going to be four paragraphs long. Please remember to indent, skip lines between your, um, between each skip lines on your draft so that when you go in to do the revising and to do the editing, you will be able to do that. On, for revising, please make sure that you are using the revising checklist. Um, each paragraph needs to have one idea in it. So the ideas would be everything about that country's geography would be in that one paragraph. Everything about that country's climate would be in that one paragraph. Um, all the sentences in the paragraph tell about that one thing. You used exact words, you used facts, um, you used enough details, and you combine your sentences to add more variety. Then when you get to the proofreading, please use the proofreading checklist on page 230. You're going to watch out for complete sentences, capital letters at the beginnings of sentences, correct punctuation at the ends of sentences, um, correct capital letters within the sentences, so if it's a proper noun, it has to be a capital letter, and you're going to look for misspelled words. Please get um, help from parents on this or anyone else in your household that is a, a real good speller or anything on the proofreading section. And then after you do your final draft, you will be able to send it in to school, your whole packet, and... You'll be done with your, oh, I forgot one thing, your bibliography. And so I'll make a video about that in a couple days, about doing your bibliography. Then you can finish, have it all into your packet, in your writing file, send it on in, and you can get the test done. About that, I'll post the answers to the test on or to the chapter review on Google Classroom and then you can check your review, do your test, use any of the information that we've gone over anywhere in this unit to help you do the test. Go ahead and use notes. 
And then next week, you guys will be going on to the next grammar chapter about adjectives and adverbs. So if you have any questions, have families email me. You can talk to me on Google Classroom. Um, I'm here to help you any, with anything you need. Thanks, guys.